Rahim. This is a question, June 14, 42 variant. Question number one. So we have an idea here that Jane and Kate share this much money in 5-7 ratio. We have proved that Kate amount is this much. So what is the best way? So we write two titles. Title number one, dollar, and title number two is ratio. Dollar and ratio. We write full word ratio or just R, no problem. Total money is 270. 240, sorry, and total ratio. If you add them, you got a 12. So total money, total ratio right in front of each other. I'm looking for the Kate money. Kate uh, ratio is seven because Jane before and Kate later. So I think clear. So seven I'm writing here and Kate money. So cross multiply. And so K times to 12, you know it very well like this, equal to seven times to 240 like this. So this 12 will divide. And Kate, a value 7 into 240 by 24, 12, sorry, 12 to the 24, it's giving us 20, 20 into 7, 140 matching. So Kate's amount is proved 140. So this is done. And naturally, if from 240, if I subtract 140, so the Jane's amount becomes automatically 100. Okay, although he's not asking for it, we just may found extra. Okay, Jane and Kate each spent twenty dollars. So in the beginning, Kate, Kate uh, is this much. Uh, uh, you can say Kate, Kate amount, and Jane. Uh, so I think we should write, yeah, Jane before Kate later. Better to keep in order. So Jane's amount and Kate's amount. Okay, Jane's amount is a hundred. So from 100, subtract 20. From Kate, 140, subtract 20. So we got an 80 here and we got a 120. Now we need the ratio between them. So Jane remaining money is this. Kate remaining money is this. So, so 80 ratio 120. We have two techniques. I can divide by 10, the country get rid of zeros and then divide some other number. Or I can type directly in calculator 80 divided by 120. And when I type 80 by 120, you can, you know, it's 0, 0 cancelled, 4, 2s are, 4, 3s are. So it means 2 ratio coming or 2 ratio 3 coming. So this is Jane and this is Kate. So I think I write here 2 ratio 3. This is my final answer. Okay, the next part is what? Kate invest $120 for five year rate of five simple interest. What's the amount after five years? But you know, his important part here, I is equal to PRT by 100. So let's try it one by one. Investment is always called P. So P is 120. Uh, years, T, this stand for T, five years. Rate of interest is capital R. Four uh, and if I plug in the numbers, one twenty into R four into five by hundred, zero zero cancel out, and five ones are five five ones are five twos are ten, and two ones are two twos are. So answer is coming twenty four. So answer is coming twenty four. But for your knowledge, this is a profit of twenty four dollars. Okay, but he said amount. Total amount, a special formula, PA is equal to P plus I. P is called his own investment and I is a profit. So if I add the together, 120 plus 24, so answer is finally coming $144. I think this point is very, very clear. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's talk about uh, next plan. Next plan is what here? Jane invest $80 for three and four compound interest. Again, investment is this much. So this is called P. Three years, so T is three. Rate of interest is four, so R is four. But you know, he said com compound interest. And formula for compound interest is what? A equals to P times to one over R to power 100 or power T. So let's plug in the all numbers, 80 times here, one plus rate of interest four over 100 to power is three. Do you know if I, I plug in the values directly in the calculator, so one plus four divided by 100 
outside 80 multiplying and power of this is coming three. So answer is coming 89.98912. And he asking amount. So you got a difference. Simple interest. When I find apply formula, it never given a total amount. It gave you only profit. And in profit, we have to get, add his money. Then we get a net amount. But compound interest formula give you directly net amount. So you just leave it as it is. All right, 2DP. I need, I need, I don't want add. So $89.90. I hope so. This part is very, very clear. Last part is interesting part for three marks. Investment of $200 for two years for rate of interest, compound interest. So again, we check it carefully. So this is money for compound interest. This is money for simple interest. So money is same. So principal for the both values is a $200 remains same. And, and time is also for both is for two years. So time is also so two years. Okay, rate of interest here for compound interest for simple interest is something different. So let's apply compound interest. So A is equals to P times to one plus R over 100 to power T. And you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to plug in. So A, P is coming, P is $200. Rate of interest is a four for compound interest. He mentioned, okay, and power in two years. So if I, if I type in calculator, so one plus four divided by 100 and power is two years. I get $216.32. This is a net amount. But for your knowledge, for your knowledge, we simple. this is a simple interest formula, I equal to P R T by 100. So my question, many students put this value directly here because he's think that investment is same. So look at the word same. He wrote that simple interest and compound interest, the investment is same. And some student by mistake copy this value here wrong. We have to apply a formula. What is the formula? A is equal to P plus I. P, we will go there. So A minus P give us I. So um, it is a 216.32. Investment is 200. So 200 subtract. So I becomes what? This is called profit. So if I subtract 200, I get a $16.32. So this profit will go there. Because simple interest, will I give you always profit. So 16.32. I will plug in here. Many students put this value directly wrong. So P is still again 200. You know it very well. Rate of interest for a simple. So simple rate of interest for a simple is, is unknown because you said R, small r. So small r. And time is very, very clear. Time is two years by 100. So these two zeros cancel. Two to the four goes down like this. Okay. So when I divide by four, my answer is coming 4.08. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So the person, and I think got the point very, very clear. And question is over.